So uh, that's the first one that popped up. But there's so many more out there that connects with a Which, place and time. Listen in to your the lyrics history. of that song. That's a really dirty song. <laughs> you ever listen to it? Yes. No. Uh, yes. I don't, I don't want to, no. <laughs> that is what you quoted earlier. We don't listen to the lyrics, right? We that's don't a, have. Yeah. That's so all I listen is good. to often is what? the lyrics. Mm -hmm. From when I was young, mm -hmm. I learned lyrics to songs, and all of a sudden the words would pop in my head, and that's all I, mm -hmm. you know. And They'll come out like in conversation or? Well, or too often. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but in that, that's another one of the subsystems, that, that and there is, um, there and... Um, we talk about this in therapy, like if I'm s talking with someone and a lyric comes into my mind, mm -hmm. it often helps me to understand what's going on in this moment oh, yeah. that I otherwise okay. couldn't know. Okay. Like I remember I was, um, I've used this example a thousand times, but I'm, uh, I was uh, grading papers or uh, tests or whatever out in front of, um, this was before Davidson Schuster building was built, and I was, and I'm, and I'm doing, and suddenly there are people around me, and and that the the Elvis Costello lyric. There's a song called "This Is Hell," "This Is Hell," "This Is Hell," "Hell Is Heaven in Reverse." And why is that song in my head? And then I realize, wait a minute, these people are really annoying me. I really am. <laughs> all this time I've been exerting all this energy, and people are like, ah, oh, this is hell. You know, <laughs> that's where I'm at. All right. So. I need to I need to do something about that. The, one of the lyrics in that is. My favorite things plays again and again, but it's by Julie Andrews and not by John Coltrane. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You you may not be able to control some of those lyrics you that can't. pop in your head. You can't. That sound of things. Well, man, th this is uh, this has been cool today to talk about music and hear uh, your own experiences and we get to share some things about it. What's the final word on music? We, uh, is there anything we can do from a mental health side? Uh, well, is it comforting? Can I go listen to that song when I'm down? Or how, how do I do? I should, how do you I should engage this? as many activities as you can that'll help introduce you to yourself. That'll okay. help you to integrate parts of yourself that can generate that complexity we talk about. You don't have to think about it intellectually. Uh, we've we you know we've talked about music in a way that that doesn't that could preclude the possibility of some folks just enjoying it. It's enough to just do that. Right, but, right. You know. without, a, without a big purpose. You, you started out by asking the question, what is the purpose of music? Mm -hmm. So do you have an answer now well, that we've talked about? I like the idea that there's, um, there's this notion by uh, Schopenhauer, and he said that uh, all great art must be useless. And there's also a lyric by Elvis Costello, what shall we do, what shall we do with all this useless beauty? Well, it needs to be useless because utility is only such a small fraction of what's asked of us in the world. If our job is to dig ditches, then um, it's certainly important that we dig the ditches we need to. But the rest of life is something else other than that. And I think it, it art, beauty, all of it should be wonderfully useless. So it has utility. That's certainly important. Okay. But it, its utility is in its uselessness, I think. So. Okay. All right. Rather profound in a way. Yeah, play with uh, and use all the crayons in the crayon box there you go. I think we've talked about Jeff good to have you here today well, thank man. you thank, thank you, you for being here all right with that I guess we'll stop there we'll see you next time